Welcome again in physics and today we are in electronics again and today we are going to discuss about the types of semiconductors. So we have the two types of semiconductors. So these are the types of semiconductor. The first type of semiconductor is called the intrinsic semiconductor and the second type is extrinsic semiconductor. So you have the two types of semiconductors. So starting with the first type that is intrinsic semiconductor. So intrinsic semiconductors are sometimes called the pure semiconductor, the pure semiconductor. So an intrinsic semiconductor, an intrinsic semiconductor material is type of semiconductor materials with no impurities, with no impurities. So that we call it the pure semiconductor. So it has no the impurities. So in intrinsic semiconductor, it has equal numbers of negative carriers, which are the electrons, and the positive carriers, which are the holes. So the number of electrons, number of electrons, equals to the numbers of holes in intrinsic semiconductor. So example of intrinsic semiconductor, we have the silicon, the pure silicon, and the pure germanium. So these are the examples of intrinsic semiconductors. So a silicon crystal is different from an insulator because at any temperature above the zero temperature, absolute zero temperature, there is finite probability that an electron in the lattice will be knocked or lost from its position, leaving behind an electron deficiency or called a hole. So for a silicon crystal may have the, the hole which is due to the knock D or lose the electron. So for example, you have the silicon crystal. So for example, this is silicon. So it has the bonds. Silicon is tetravalent. So it has four valence. So this is electrons, the valence electrons. So let's say you have the another silicon. This is silicon crystal. So it's forming the covalent bonds with the neighbors silicon. So this silicon shares the bond at this. So you have the silicon like this. So for example, consider, consider the one electrons. So consider these electrons, the electrons written in a red color. So if one of the electrons leave the point where the sharing is being found of the covalent bonds, so the electron, they leave, leave, the, leave the bonds. So if the electrons leave the bonds, remain the points, in a point ambayo, hakuna ambayo kulikuwa na electron, point hiyo itakuwa empty, point hiyo itakuwa empty. Kwa sababu, point hiyo, electron ime leave. Sasa hii point ambayo ipo empty, tunaita hole. Tunaita, tunaita hole. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu, kwa sababu hakuna, kul, mwanzo kulikuwa na electron, lakini leo hakuna electron. Kwa hiyo point hiyo ina electron deficiency. So this point will act as a positive. Will act as a positive. And we call it the the hole. So this the hole may contribute this the positive charge so for the current to pass. Also the living electron is now free, is now free and is in a conduction band. So it may conduct the electricity. So the crystal of silicon of pure silicon may conduct may conduct electricity at absolutely zero temperature, so the zero Kelvin, absolute zero is zero Kelvin, zero of thermodynamics. So this is about the intrinsic semiconductor. So let's continue. So if the voltage is applied, then both electron and hole can contribute to a small current, to a small current flow. So if in our 
previous example, this is our silicon. If we apply the potential difference, so this is positive and this is negative. So if we apply the potential difference and there is free electrons like this, and there is a hole, the current may be passing through. Why? Because the electron may be attracted to the positive terminals. So the electron goes to the positive and also the point whereby there is the deficiency of electron, which we call it a hole, the electron, another electron may be attracted to it, may be attracted. So this movement contributes the current. So the current may flow in that form. So we say that if the voltage is applied, the both electrons, both electron and a hole can contribute to a small current flow. The conductivity of semiconductor can be modeled in terms of band theory of solids. So you will write the band theory of solids. In short, the band theory will be show the energy bands. So the bands like this. So we have the important bands. The first is valence band. So let's say this is valence, valence band. And we have the another important bands for current conduction is called the, the conduction, conduction, conduction bands. So we have this, this theory and we explain the uh, the conductivity of the semiconductors by using this theory, band theory, band theory. So let's continue. So the band theory of solid shows at the ordinary temperature, at the ordinary temperature, there is finite possibility that electrons can reach conduction band and contribute to conduction. So as we have the diagram, kama tulivokuwa na mchoro wetu huu wa bands, kwa hiyo katika hii valence bands kuna electron, kuna valency, valency electrons. Kwa hiyo katika band theory of solid inaonyesha kwamba katika hii valence band katika normal temperature hizi electrons zinawezekana zika raise zikaja katika conduction band na zikifika katika conduction band hii ndio state ambayo inawezekana zika conduct electricity kwa sababu zitakuwa katika state hiyo zipo free electrons kwa sababu hii valence band ndio the outermost the outermost attracted attracted orbit so let's continue so the pure intrinsic semiconductor material is electrical conductivity may be raised up. So the intrinsic semiconductor inawezekana tukaongeza conductivity yake. So it is raised up its conductivity by adding controlled amount of impurities. So this process is known as the doping. This process is known as the doping. So if we have the pure semiconductor that is intrinsic, so this is pure. So you have the impurities, impurities, impurities added to the pure semiconductor. This process we call the, the doping. We call the, the doping. So this doping increase the electrical conductivity so result to high electrical electrical conductivity so high electrical conductivity so the doping process is the controlling amount addition of the impurities into pure semiconductor so as to increase its electrical conductivity so the doping process results the doping process results to the second type of semiconductors which we call as in extrinsic 
semiconductors, we known as the extrinsic semiconductors. So write the word semiconductor in a correct way. So it has no the B and the B and the D. So it has C at this semiconductors. So the doping process results to the extrinsic semiconductors. So what is extrinsic semiconductor? As we say that the doping process ndio ambayo iliyosababisha kuwepo kwa extrinsic semiconductor. So extrinsic semiconductor is an improved intrinsic semiconductor. Is an improved in intrinsic semiconductor with a small amount of impurities added by the special process known as doping which alters electrical properties of the semiconductor and improves its conductivity. So the extrinsic semiconductor ni ile ambayo iliyotengenezwa kwa kuadd controlled amount of impurities na ikasababisha the increase of conductivity or the improvement of conductivity sigma so introducing impurities into the semiconductor materials the process known as the doping process can control their conductivity so the doping process control the conductivity doping process produces two types or two groups of semiconductors so by doping process we have the two groups of semiconductors so these are the types of extrinsic semiconductor extrinsic semiconductors so these are the types of extrinsic semiconductors so extrinsic semiconductors is forming the two types so these are the two types so we have the first type that is negative charge conductor or we call it the n type we call it the n type and the second we have the positive charge conductor or we call it especially the p type so we have the n type semiconductor and we have the p type semiconductors so the n type n stand for negative n stand for negative and the p type the p stand for positive so we have the negative charge conductor and the positive charge conductor so the n type and the p type are the special semiconductors in the extrinsic semiconductors so sometimes you are asked me to mention or to describe the types of extrinsic semiconductors so you have the negative charge or we call it the n type semiconductor and the p type semiconductors so semiconductors are available either elements or compounds so semiconductor inawezekana tukazipata kama compounds au element kama tulivyoona katika previous lecture so silicon and germanium are tetravalent so these semiconductor the silicon and the germanium that are common semiconductors both are tetravalent tetravalent means they have four valency 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 electrons Tetra means four, so it has four electrons in outermost shell. So in a valence in a electron, in a, in a, in a valence electron in a katika shell yake. So we call it the tetravalent. So semiconductors are tetravalent. So for example, tukisema tetravalent, maraki kama ule mfano wa mwanzo tulo angalia, kwa silicon silicon ndio muona silicon ana is ana forming covalent bond ambayo hii covalent bond ina outermost electrons ambazo hizi ni sharing electrons tunaona kwamba zipo nne katika kila silicon moja zipo nne katika kila silicon silicon moja so ndio maana tunasema ni tetravalent so let's continue so the n type semiconductor so we have see we have the two types of extrinsic semiconductor we have the n type and the p type so that is the first which is n type semiconductor so what is n type semiconductor 
So if the pentavalent impurities, pentavalent impurities, pentavalent means the five electron valency, valency electron. So the penta means five, the pentavalent impurities, the addition of pentavalent impurities, such as the antimony, arsenic or phosphorus, contributes free electrons greatly increasing the conductivity of intrinsic semiconductor. So this will be shown as, so for example, we have the silicon. Silicon, so this is silicon crystal. This is silicon crystal. So the silicon crystal forming the covalent bonds, forming the covalent bonds. So forming the covalent bonds. So the covalent bonds, we have the electron at this, electron at this, electron at this. So this share electron at this, and this contribute one electron, so one electron, one electron. So for this one, one, three, one, two, three, and at this we have the four electrons. So each silicon contributes four valency electrons. You have C at this. So for example, we have the, we have changed, we have the, to add the impurities. So for example, we have to add impurities. So futa hii hapa, futa hii silicon hapa, alafu weka nini, eka iyo impurity, kwe, kwa, kwa mfano tuka eka the, the phosphorus, tuka eka phosphorus P, au tuka eka antimony. So tuka eka phosphorus, tutaona kwa mba phosphorus in a five valence electron. So for example, at this, we'll have the first valence electron, second, third, and fourth. And the five, ile ya tano zasa, kwa sababu phosphorus ina valence tano, kwa sababu hapa zimeka valence nne, kwa itabaki, zimeka valence electron nne, kwa itabaki electron moja, hambayo, hatuju itaka wapi. Hiyo electron itaka outside the bond, itaka outside the bond, like this. So this electron is acting as the free electrons, free electrons. So tuki add phosphorus, tuki add impurity like phosphorus, tutapata, tutapata additional electron ya mbao ni free electron. Na ukiwa na free electron, basi mobility yake ikiwepo, basi umeme utakuwa kuzalishwa ni uraisi kabisa kwa sababu electron ipo free from attraction of the nucleus. So this is, this is the n-type semiconductor. So the n-type semiconductor is formed by the addition of the pentavalent. So this is n-type semiconductor. So let's continue. So the phosphorus may be added by the diffusion of phosphine gas. So if we add the phosphorus, we use diffusion of phosphine gas. So it produces the n-type semiconductor by contributing extra, extra electrons. So it contributes the extra electrons. As we see at this, so you have the extra electrons. You have the extra electrons. This is extra electron or free electron. So it is the extra electron provided. So we have the another type that is the P-type semiconductor, the P-type semiconductor. So what is P-type semiconductor? So consider the P-type semiconductor, consider the, the germanium of the germanium. So the germanium is pentavalent one electron, second, third, and here nne. Here nne, kwa yu electron is po nne. Zinaungana na germanium nyingine, ambayo nao yuna contribute electron nne, moja, mbili, tatu, nne. Na yuna tengine za bondi, hizi ni bondi, covalent bondi, sawa so, Eh, kama hizo ni covalent bond, tunaona kwamba hizi germani ya mzote zimefanyaje, zimetengeneza covalent bond na kila moja ina electron ngapi? Electron nne. So kwa mfano tukaitoa hii germanium. Tukaitoa hii germanium, tukaweka 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 element ambayo ina ina electron tatu. Tukaweka element ambayo ina electron tatu. So tukiweka element ambayo let's say element X ikawa na electron ngapi? Ina electron tatu. Kwa tutaona itakuwa na ya kwanza, itakuwa na ya pili, itakuwa na ya tatu. Hii hapa ambayo iliyokuwepo mwanzo, ambayo tumuona kama germanium, zilikuwa nne, itakuwa haipo leo. Kwa zikiwa tatu, 
katika sehemu hii ambayo mwanzo kulikuwa na bondi. Kwa hiyo leo patakuwa ni kama MT na tutasema hapo tutapaita nini? Hall. Kwa hiyo itakuwa nini? Itakuwa ni hall. Itakuwa ni empty. Na hiyo hall itaact as a positive positive charge. Kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu kuna electron ambayo imefaje imeondoka. Kwa hiyo itaona kama kuna deficiency of electron. Kuna ku lose kwa electron. Kwa hiyo hiyo point itaact as a positive charge. Kwa hiyo tukiwa na hall maana tukiwa hizi hizi electron zingine inawezekana kwa sababu hii hall ni positive charge hizi electron zingine zilizoko katika bondi zinaweza zikavutwa zinaweza zikavutwa katika hii hall zinaweza zikavutwa katika hii hall na zikivutwa zikiweza kwenda basi sehemu iliyo iliyoacha sehemu iliyoondoka hiyo electron nayo italive nini italive hall nyingine kwa hiyo electron nyingine nayo ita move itakuja katika hall hii kwa zitakuwa katika process hiyo continuous kwa hiyo katika process hiyo maana yake umeme utakuwa una be conducted why kwa sababu electron zina zina move kwa hiyo katika hii nayo ni type ya ya semiconductor ambayo tunaita the p type p type semiconductor it is the p type so we may say in short the trivalent impurities so trivalent impurities ni impurity ambazo zina three valence electron produces produce p type semiconductor by producing a hole or electron deficiency so this is end of our today lecture and we are welcome you again